How's it going everyone? This is David here and I just wanted to show you how to make lightsabers in After Effects. Um, so I'm just going to preview to you what we're going to make. Okay, so that's what we're going to be making today. Um, the first thing you need to do before you um, start any of this is you need to download um, the preset that I'm using to uh, make this video. It's a lightsaber preset. Uh, you need to go to www.videocopilot.net slash tutorial slash light underscore sabers and click this project uh, button right here. And it's going to um, download this uh, zip folder. <clears throat> and so what you want to do is you want to get this and copy it and then go into your program files go into Adobe After Effects and then into presets and then you want to paste it into here after you um, open this and so you want to, yeah we copy this folder and paste it <clears throat> and then that will give us um, what we want in After Effects which is the lightsaber preset um, so I have my footage right here. This is my video footage, and um, I'm gonna add my lightsaber right now. <clears throat> and to do that, I'm going to uh, layer and new, and then solid. And we want this to make this our comp size. And I recommend it doesn't matter what color you make it really, but so I'm just gonna change it to black. Okay. And actually, you want to you want to rename it uh, based on, let's say, maybe if you have more than one lightsaber in your uh, video, let's say, then you might want to uh, rename this. So I'm going to say lightsaber one. And um, before I continue, I just want to say, um, if you don't know the uh, pure basics of After Effects, I recommend. Um, doing a tutorial or actually on the on this website you can check that out um, videocopilot.net slash basic and it has a few basic tutorials to get you started uh, really great tutorials okay so now I'm gonna create this solid and um, it's just gonna cover everything pretty much and you want this to be on the top next I'm going to Go to Animation Presets, Andrew Kramer, VFX, and Lightsaber. And here is our Lightsaber right here. So uh, now that we have this in here, there's a few settings that we uh, you can adjust before you start. Uh, for instance, the color you can change. You want it red or maybe blue. I think I'm going to go with blue looks pretty nice light blue there and um, so you can also extend the lightsaber this is if you this is how long it is and that's nice for an animate in in effect where the lightsaber is opening out and then the thickness if you have a bigger lightsaber or a smaller one uh, you can use that to control your thickness uh, the glow is the glow coming out and then here's this extra glow just to make everything look a lot nicer it's just the edges of the lightsaber and then shutter speed and I'll get into that later but that's pretty much yeah I'll talk about it later um so right now we need to just well, let's just preview our footage real quick so that's me waving around the lightsaber um, so to get this effect to work correctly, uh, you need to be uh, able to you you really need to just um, meticulously drag around this thing right here, these two points uh, for every single frame. You can, can toggle the frames by pressing the page up and page down buttons. Um, but what we need to do before that is we need to set a keyframe for the position of the lightsaber. So just get it to a starting point where you want to start from. So let's say we wanted to start right here. 
drag these points um, to the end of the lightsaber. I actually need to extend this a bit, or I mean, <coughs> make it thicker. And I recommend when you're um, dragging this, uh, toggle this button, it'll uh, load faster. It also helps you to kind of see better where your lightsaber is actually positioned. So I'm going to put the thickness up a little bit. You want it to pretty much cover your whole lightsaber. So like that. And then I'm going to uh, set a keyframe for, for position. <clears throat> so actually we want to set them for both of these. And then if you want to see those keyframes, you can press the U key, that's what I pressed there, and they're going to come up right here. That's maybe when I, you started them too early, let's say, and you want to drag them. So that looks pretty nice. So now I'm just going to go frame by frame and kind of just drag this so it matches the lightsaber. And you're going to have to do that for um, the frames according to your video. There's really no better way to do this. <laughs> um, but it's it's better than making an actual, like, the, this preset and then um, making, a, like, a mask around your lightsaber and making that, like, uh, changing the properties of that. It's better with these two endpoints here. So, um, once you're do that and then you can kind of <clears throat> continue uh, with the tutorial when you're done with that. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can just preview it here. Uh, it looks pretty nice. Oh, um, I guess I just want to talk about what the shutter speed is. Um, that is like how much you see the blur on this. Like if you look here, um, you see how it's blurring here. It's not just one straight line because it actually, this preset does have motion blur. This shutter speed can turn that up or down based on uh, how you want your lightsaber to look. 45 looks pretty nice and that's what um, I used for this one. Um, so now there's not too much to do um, in accordance to this really you're pretty much done with your effect except for adding uh, sounds uh, which you just really have to find the right sounds for your clip there's nothing um, there's, that's the only thing that I only tips I have for that um, but if you look up lightsaber sounds there's a nice uh, zip file where I got <clears throat> um, a bunch of uh, lightsaber sounds for my clip um, Actually, what would be really cool is an another thing you can do is consider recording this um, behind a green screen. I didn't, uh, but then you could kind of, uh, you know, mask yourself out uh, with this pen tool and kind of create like a little mask thing here around yourself, and then you could um, like put yourself in like a Star Wars you know, themed kind of area. So that would be cool. Um but that is that's pretty much it for your effect. And oh, um one other thing, if you lose if you lose your little um these things at the edge, just click on this button and it'll bring it it'll bring those back. So um that's how you get those if you lose them. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, you know, have fun making your effects, and uh, I encourage you to learn more about uh, After Effects, and uh, check out videocopilot.net. Some great tutorials there. Uh, so, see you later.